Hi, I'm Bacola, a senior developer advocate at Grafana. In this video, I'll show you how to perform a TCP check using Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring. TCP checks are essential for monitoring your non-HTTP services. With a TCP check, you can verify that a server accepts a connection and measure the response latency and uptime. This helps you catch TCP connections issues before they affect users. Before we walk through TCP checks, let's walk through what Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring is. Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring is a black box monitoring solution that allows you to monitor services and applications by running checks from public and private probes located globally. This allows you to assess the availability and performance and correctness of these services and applications with ease. Users can perform a wide variety of checks from browser checks, ping checks, DNS checks, HTTP checks, scripted checks, and TCP checks. Now that you have this overview of Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring, let's return back to TCP checks. A TCP check allows you to connect to an endpoint on a given host name or IP address and port to verify that a server accepts a connection. Additionally, with a TCP check, you can also measure the response latency, uptime, and other critical metrics. This can be used to verify the non-HTTP services like mail servers, FTP servers, database, message queues, and applications are working properly. Some key benefits of TCP checks are a quick diagnosis of network connectivity issues by identifying when services aren't accepting connections, security monitoring, detecting when ports are open that shouldn't be or when required services are down, proactive monitoring of critical service, getting alerted before users experience problems. Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring makes it easy to run a TCP check from different locations all over the globe, then provides you with valuable insights into the connection's accessory, response time, and service availability. Let's now walk through the steps required to set up your first TCP check. To get started, you'll need a Grafana Cloud account. Once you're on the home page, open the main menu and navigate to testing and synthetics. Select synthetics, checks, and then click add create a check. Choose API endpoint as the check type. Provide a job name, we'll use the name example colon TCP. Select a request type, we'll choose TCP. Select the request target, we'll choose the target URL and port smtp.gmail.com colon 587. When you are specifying your request target, you also have the option to include a TLS config. But for this video, we'll keep it simple. Let's move to step two by clicking the define uptime button. You can select the add query dash response button. This will be the query and this will be the response. Now let's move on to timeout. We'll choose 10 seconds. Let's move to step three by clicking the labels button. We recommend creating custom labels because they add additional information, which can be helpful if you're alerted about a test. Each label is using key value pairs. For the name, we'll choose N and for value, we'll choose test. Let's move to step three by clicking the execution button. In the execution section, you can choose between public public and private probe locations. Grafana offers access to over 20 globally distributed probe locations. For this test, we will select Calgary, Canada and Stockholm, Sweden as the probe location. Further down on the page, you'll also find the option to set the test frequency. We will configure the TCP check to run every one minute. Notice the additional information provided about the estimated executions expected to occur per month. Let's move to step four by clicking the alerting button. Effective alerting is essential for synthetic monitoring. When metrics deviate from expected performance, alerts are the most effective way to trigger the necessary actions based on these metrics. You have two alerting options, per check alerts or legacy alerts. We recommend per check alerts, which allow you to create alerts based on the number of check failures in a specific time window. If you remember in the previous section, we have two probe locations, one in Calgary and one in Stockholm, sending one request every minute. So in five minutes, we will send 10 requests. In this section, we can specify how many failures of the 10 executions we wanna be alerted about. For this tutorial, we'll choose two of 10 execution fails in the last five minutes as the threshold to get alerted. Once all settings are configured, click save to initiate the test. You can also choose a test button to ensure the test works before saving. At this point, your TCP check is now active and running. Our script has been running for a few hours, so let's now review the results. Each synthetic monitoring check includes a pre-configured dashboard that offers key insights into your selected synthetic monitoring tests. The dashboard provides metrics such as uptime, reachability, average latency, SSL chain expiry, and frequency. As you scroll through the dashboard, you'll also find additional charts that offer deeper visibility. Additionally, you can see response latency by probe location. All the data and visualizations are updated in real time as the test continues to run, allowing you to have 
continuous performance monitoring and faster issue detection. There you have it. You now know about Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring Solution and how to create a TCP check. You can check out Grafana Play Synthetic Monitoring to see a dashboard with a variety of running checks. If you want to learn more about Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring, make sure to check out this documentation and I'll see you in the next video.